Welcome to the video, this film is an American psychological 2021 thriller film called, Intrusion. Spoilers ahead. The film begins with Mira jogging outside and returning to her brand new house that her husband, Henry, built. They recently just moved in as it's Henry's most recent project in New Mexico. They decide to go on a date in which they leave their phones behind. On the date night Henry talks about having a party for their new home and they go back home. They arrive back home to notice the back door is opened, they go to investigate it and figure out that their home was broken into. They realize that the intruders didn't take anything from them other than both their devices. Henry goes to his office and notices it all trashed. The day after the intrusion detective Morse appears at the door. Henry lets him in and discusses the break-in. The detective mentions that he's surprised Henry didn't install an alarm system. They both notice the pipes rattling and the detective suggests hiring a plumber. Before leaving the detective already mentions that he has a lead for the case already. It shows Mira getting a lump checked out and we find out she was a previous cancer patient, scared that it will return soon. She takes a copy of the results back home. Later we can see Henry install an alarm system and add more security to his home including a remote control door lock. Mira arrives home and Henry tells her that he organized the house and got new phones. Henry finds the paper and gets irritated for hiding the fact that she gets checked from him. They forgive each other and go to sleep. Mira wakes up to notice that the lights are off, Henry insists it's just the storm but goes to check the generator anyways. Mira gets up from her bed and we can see a hooded guy in the background. Henry finds out the generator was ripped apart on purpose and notices footsteps to his house where he notices light inside. He runs to check on Mira and finds her tied on the floor. He helps her and they both sneak away. Henry demands Mira to stay as he gets a gun from their plants. Henry gets attacked from behind and drops the gun. Both hurry off the stairs but Mira gets caught. Henry successfully fights off the intruders and they run to a room to head towards the patio. Henry holds them back and tells Mira to run away. Henry assists her and is about to follow her until he gets stopped by the men. Mira is outside running towards her car. When she suddenly hears three gunshots, she gets frightened because of a dog and then she sees a young man come out asking for help but is stopped when Henry shoots him. Mira is surprised but also disappointed. The next day they go to a cafe to discuss what happened, Mira is disappointed about Henry having a gun in their house and proceeds to question him. They then go to the police to receive information from. They show them images of a few men who are from Eagle Point and were the intruders and how only one survived. They ask a few questions about them and find out that they have some criminal background. They then show them an image of a missing girl which they might have something to do with her missing. Mira gets curious and then they inform that the missing girl is related to the three suspects. Henry then goes to get resources for their housewarming party. Mira breaks the news of Henry killing people and Mira gets mad at him so Henry comforts her and leaves. Mira notices that Henry left his wallet and tries to call him but it goes to voicemail. Then she decides to give him his wallet herself, so she follows him but notices that he's going to a downtown Corrales rather than the store. Mira was too busy thinking about where Henry was going so she nearly got in a crash. She goes home to see Henry waiting and she informs Henry about the incident. Mira starts hallucinating about the event. So she leaves and her colleague tells her about the cancel party so she asks Henry about it, while doing so the detective knocks on her window and talks about the incident, and about the surviving intruder who just died. Mira decides to check on Henry's recent locations and notices Eagle Point, the same place where the intruders are from. So she decides to go and enters an open car where finds a paper belonging to Dylan Cobb, one of the intruders, so she looks for more and finds a key belonging to the house. She enters the home and looks around to find a painting of the missing girl. She inspects furthermore and finds paper with Henry's business envelope. She exits the house soon after and goes to the mailbox belonging to Dylan using the key she found previously. When doing so she finds a package but gets stopped by a man who gets curious about what she's doing, noticing that her car was there the day before. The man gets mad and opens the package revealing a camera so he breaks it. Mira returns home where she inputs the card into her own camera to recover the video which she views. She finds out that the intruder's daughter is the missing girl, he explains the way he looked at her referring to Henry. But the video isn't playable anymore so she buys a camera the same model as the broken one. She then closes her laptop and looks at her phone to see that Henry is somewhere else giving her time to snoop around in his office. When she then notices a cabinet with a passcode, she glances at her phone to notice she has no time because Henry is coming back. She's about to leave when she notices a flash drive and begins to look at the file. She goes through a series of images of the construction site, where she notices the intruder working for Henry in a picture. It goes back to Henry where he notices his office lights are on so he rushes inside. Mira gets in a hurry to leave, grabbing the flash drive on her way out and meeting with Henry. Henry asks her if she was in his room and then questions her why she was nearing Eagle Point. Mira dodges the question by saying she was in her room trying to vacuum. 
He brings back the question of Eagle Point during dinner and Mira tries to dodge the truth by saying she was trying to get back home from work. Henry leaves his seat angrily and goes to sit near Mira asking her if she's hiding something, Mira gets spooked but then Henry says it again referring to results, she's relieved and says no. During the night Mira wakes up and takes a look at the flash drive again when she starts hearing the same banging as usual she ignores and continues to look at the photos. She then notices the missing girl in one of the photos and gets anxious. Mira is in her car waiting outside the police station and notices the same guy she saw at Eagle Point getting arrested. She goes home to tell Henry about the missing girl being found, and then she questions Henry why the man who broke into their house had his envelopes and wants Henry to tell him everything about the missing girl, the envelope and locked cabinet. He then explains that the reason why was because of the house and he needed money so he made the IRS believe he built the house alone and about the missing girl's father working for him. Mira doesn't catch on to the fake story so begins questioning him. Henry convinces Mira with his story and he tells Mira his filing cabinet passcode, 0812 so that she can trust him which is their anniversary. Henry exits the house and Mira feels guilty but Henry comforts her. She tells him that she still wants to have the housewarming party. Then her colleague, Joanne, notices about the camera arriving but she doesn't want it because she trusts Henry so she lets Joanne keep it but Joanne doesn't receive it so Mira just takes it. Mira gets home where they're preparing for the party when Bill and Joanne arrive. The party begins and goes on normally until Mira listens to the TV about the man she saw get arrested being arrested for animal cruelty and not the kidnapping. So she then realizes Henry lied to her about the story so she goes to her car to retrieve the camera and views the video. Where Dylan mentions that Henry was the first person he thought of when his daughter went missing and went to break in. He mentions how he brought his dog to his office and knew immediately Henry kidnapped his daughter. Mira gets frustrated with the video and closes it. She heads into Henry's office to open the locked filing cabinet having nothing but files. Henry notices his office light on so he gets anxious. Mira keeps searching and comes across a file with their house's blueprints and notices a secret room inside. She begins inspecting the room where she notices a secret button. She clicks it and hears a door open behind her. She slowly heads towards the room to find a secret compartment. She goes down the stairs and finds a room with a dark corner. She turns on the lights and sees girl, the girl who has gone missing. Mira removes the blindfold and girl begins to panic for help and then Mira notices the pipes rattling so she makes girl stop. She comforts girl and is heading off to get help when she sees Henry in her way. Henry tries to make Mira understand but Mira does not budge. She attempts to call for help but Henry stops her and drops her to the floor. Henry breaks her phone and ties her up. Henry leaves the room and tells them that Mira is sick and he broke his nose. He dismisses the party and people exit the house. Mira and girl then start talking to each other and girl tells Mira all he does is sit in front of her with the bat repeating the words I decide when. Mira attempts to escape and successfully does so also unlocking girl but then Henry enters the room but doesn't notice them leaving. Henry tries to chase after them but Mira closes the door on them. Henry recovers and locks the doors through his phone. He begins to look for them and soon finds them throwing Mira around the kitchen and chasing after girl. Henry takes girl back to the room while Mira wakes up. She grabs the sculpture and goes to the room hitting Henry on the head before he had the chance to hit girl. Both of them leave Henry in the room and seek help. It then shows a sold sign in front of the house and Mira packing up. She looks back at the house and leaves. Film ends. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the film in the comments below, and feel free to suggest a specific film recap. Take care.